Okay, welcome to Team Talk number 14.2, the second revision, Team Talk. Very good. Very good. And let's dive right in. Yes. You said before there were some updates to the STI module. Yeah, the STI module, lots of progress to report. Mm -hmm. Actually, at around uh, Christmas time in Vienna, we had a hackathon. What's mm -hmm. a hackathon? That's when people meet to hack on something, which basically means just work <laughs> in a very <laughs> condensed way. <laughs> Sounds like a, like a gulag for <laughs> hacking. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, the, the nerdy way of working on something. You meet and then you hack it away. <laughs> okay. Hack Great. it on. That's so around Christmas, before, before the CCC in, in Germany, yeah. we really wanted to make the hardware first prototype of the STI module work. Mm -hmm. So we met for a hackathon in Vienna and got it to work. Cool. And at the time, after the hackathon finished in December 2017, I shot a video with myself and Tim, the famous Tim, you remember him? Yeah. yeah. He was also in Vienna together with two other developers from France and Germany and we hacked it away and it worked at the CCC. We showed the hardware at the CCC yeah. and now the newest progress is that uh, based on the development prototype, uh, Felix is now creating a first version of the actual module hardware. Felix. Is Tim? No. no, Felix is the German developer working on the STI board. Okay. And uh, while the development prototype for CCC was basically a kind of FPGA off the shelf module as put on a carrier board that we designed for the XMP mm -hmm. So it's a kind of hack, de hack together development framework. Mm -hmm. And now the next stage or the next step is to turn that development board into our own hardware mm -hmm. and that's currently mid-finished or ongoing perfect nice yeah. then we will what's still missing uh, can't say exactly i'd have to check in with felix but i think he will have it done by next week so we can oh, already really? populate the first prototype it's always good to say next week during yeah, a video nobody knows when next future. week will be but <laughs> very soon very soon so uh in June, hopefully we'll already have a prototype wow. in-house that we will assemble then. Cool. And see, take it from there. But yeah, I've been always very bad with promising dates, so... Sure. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. So, in Uranus, we got the new enclosure. Mm. And the progress here is that this is a totally new assembly. We showed it last team talk in some aspects, I think. But now we have it as 3D printed component and as metal first part already here. And this how is it how it looks. Well, I would have to disassemble it now with the different screws here. Because this is pretty much an exact clone of how the metal will be. Mm -hmm. So all the screws are actual screws, all the threads are actual threads. So you're saying it doesn't work? Currently uh, it works. It's all inside, it all fits together. There's an image sensor in the middle, there's the hardware inside. And as a next step we will have it all made from metal. Okay. And yeah, then the next step is CNC milling one piece of the other, mm -hmm. seeing if it still fits together and if the heat exchange works as intended, and yeah, if yes, the, 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 the mock-ups of the lens tube and everything. Yes, we have the different parts. This is supposed to surround the image sensor. Mm -hmm. Pretty printed this just yesterday and brought it, so it's not inside of the model yet. Mm -hmm. And then we have the filter module, which is supposed to hold the infrared UV cutoff filter and attach it in front of the sensor. And on top of this goes the actual lens mount mm -hmm. with the E-mount currently, but which could be any other mount in the future as well. So you're going to mill this, this part? Because yes. the plan was to yes. do it out of the extension tubes, the micro uh, extension tubes? Yeah, the actual bayonet will still be reused, okay. but the rest of the metal will be custom built by okay. us. Nice. Well, then we'll see how it fits together. Almost yes. looks like a camera. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Center solder on module. Is the next topic, right? 
I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? It's an area on the Exhibitor main board, mm -hmm. right behind the image sensor. So it's a module soldered onto the main board in the center of the image sensor. So why is that important that it's on the center of the image sensor? Well, that's a very good question. Yes. What we placed on one of these center solder on modules, because you can do a lot of stuff, but one of them is an IMU. Mm -hmm. So you have 3D accelerometer, mm -hmm. 3D gyroscope, mm -hmm. and 3D magnetometer. All right. Magnometer. Magnometer? Magnetometer. <laughs> and that's not enough. You also have temperature and air pressure sensor. Okay, nice. And not just any of them. We picked ones that are pretty high frequency. So you mm -hmm. get a lot of measurements per second, a lot of uh, dynamic range also in that sense, and mm -hmm. very accurate. Mm -hmm. And the module is currently being assembled and we will test it soon. The hardware is finished basically. Oh, really? Yes. So you can use it for like uh, post image stabilization and post uh, motion tracking. Motion tracking, image stabilization. You know always in which direction you filmed, yeah. upwards, downwards, north, east, west, mm -hmm. basically. You know if the camera moved with the air pressure sensor as well. Yeah. In their different heights. The accelerometer, I guess. Yes, that as well. Yeah. So that will give some info. Why do we need a magnetometer? Well, that's absolute positioning in terms of Earth related. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why you can uh, have the directions. The exactly. The that's not updating as often per second, but it gives yeah. you absolute measurements. Are you pointing north? Are you pointing south? And so on. Mm. So you can also, if you have several cameras, you can like visualize the array of cameras. For example, and, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, IMU is pretty accurate, so it should even do stuff like augmented reality in theory. I mean, mm -hmm. the camera itself doesn't provide any 3D graphics also out of the box, but the accuracy of the tracking should be pretty good. So anything you All know right. from your cell phone should yeah. be even better <laughs> in the action beat. <laughs> Coming next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hardware is finished. Next step, testing software, and we'll see how it pans out. Cool. So maybe you remember the old power board? Yeah. It had these small uh, trimmers on it, mm -hmm. where with a small screwdriver you had to set the reference voltages mm -hmm. very finely. Yeah. The new power board, which we kind of had to prioritize, because these tiny trimmers were suddenly not available anymore. Oh really? Yes, you couldn't buy them anymore anywhere. That's very strange, it's such yes. a common component actually. No idea why, but we had to act. Mm -hmm. So we <laughs> prioritized the new design of the power board, which replaces the mechanical trimmers mm -hmm. with software controlled reference voltages. Okay. So in software, you can define the reference voltages of the different power rails. Mm -hmm. And that uh, prototype of the new power board is now finished. The boards have been received. The bring up, as it's called, what is a bring up? <laughs> it's when you write software that reaches the different chips. Some okay. chips communicate with each other, and so you have to kind of enter the hardware from one side and from one chip go to the other and from mm -hmm. this chip go to the other. So you need like a, a chip that controls the, the regulation of this. Exactly, thing. there are microcontrollers, then there are chips that monitor the voltage, that set the voltage, yeah. and then you have to, from this microchip controller, connect to the next mm -hmm. microcontroller and so on. And with each step that you complete, you can test and do different stuff. This is that's actually better than the previous version. Yeah, <laughs> and that's tests and the bring up and all the experiments, or not experiments, but the measurements are currently ongoing, but so far it's looking very good. So we're very close nice. to finishing the power board and then starting production of it for new betas. If you would have uh, set by some freak accident, if you would have set the trimmer to a different yes. voltage, then it would have could have been bricked your camera as uh, well. Not only bricked, but pretty much damaged the image sensor, for example. Okay, you hope I hope you will join us next time in Uranus for more updates from the front line of development. Nice and the back end of development. <laughs> <laughs>